Agriland visited Seamus Duggan on March 1st. He was planting the last few acres of Laureate spring barley for Bort Malt. Once malted, this barley will be used to produce whiskey at Washford Distillery. The ground is turning up absolutely super after the dry year last year. And this is actually beet ground, which is very unusual to see coming up as nice as this. But it is, it's very, very dry. And consolidation is probably the most important thing before we sow. We sow in here now and if we get in a couple of hours and it dries off well, we'll ring roll it straight away to firm up that seed bed. A good seed bed is essential and conditions were ideal for sowing. Seamus explained that while malting barley seed is more expensive, other inputs such as pesticides are similar to feed barley. Nitrogen management is key in order to meet protein specifications. However, meeting these protein specs can result in a yield hit. Sometimes I say you're in the lap of the gods with specifications, but I suppose the biggest thing we have to contend with is actually protein. Protein is um, the baseline for, 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 for distilling is 9.3, so it's a very low protein level that we have to get the barley down to that. Uh, I think, I don't know, it's um, been trial and error over the past number of years, but the experts all tell us anyway, from poor malt and the agro people, that you know the earlier we sow it, uh, get in your nitrogen early that it will have used up the nitrogen early in the season and that um, your protein levels should stay down. Today we look at this as being very early we're in the first it's the first day of March and it's the last of the laureate to be sold for, for, for Watford Distillery. Uh, we're incorporating in 30 units of nitrogen in here into the seed bed and on emergence the minute we can see the tram lines we follow that up with another 65 we'll go to 95 units and hopefully Hopefully the nitrogen and the protein will all work well, but you never know. I'm going to a max of 95 here for the distilling. Um, we'll probably go for, for general malting to maybe 100 to 110, and then feeding which will go to end up to 140 units. We'll be pushing for yield on the feeding. We'll suffer a little bit on yield for the malting, uh, but it's all for the quality of the malting product. We're trying to do everything right to get the spec right. There's an awful lot of spec. And if we can get that spec right, it'd be nice to get a little bit more forward. Sometimes you wonder, are you just as easy to grow feed and barley and, and none of the hassle, but I suppose we've been mountain barley growers here for generations. And, uh, you know, we take pride in it. We want to get right. We want to support Irish drinks industry down the line. Seamus hopes to be able to continue to grow the crop into the future. Price has become an ongoing argument in the industry. You're, you're looking for your best land to put into mountain barley because uh, I suppose with eye gas and traceability, everything is there uh, to produce this quality Irish malt and barley. Um, possibly, as I said probably before, a little bit more for it would be nice. You know, a small bit will go an awful long ways as regards price. And I think, you know, I know I'm part of a committee that works with poor malt. I know we'll get there at the end of the day because none of us wants to see malt and barley going out of this country. And I continue to grow it, hopefully, into the long into the future and hopefully my son or daughter will take over somewhere down along the line.